Hi there, Karen here um, and I've got a haul video for you today. Um, I got an email from the online scrapbooking website Hey Little Magpie a couple of days ago to say that the new Cocoa Vanilla line had um, had come in and they'd got the they'd got it in stock and I before I knew what I was doing I was on their website filling my basket with all the goodies and the new Cocoa Vanilla collection is called Midnight um, and that was only Thursday, it's now Saturday and it's arrived and I'm all excited so I thought I'd share it with you. Okay so here it is, the Midnight Collection by Coco Vanilla. I just adore everything that Coco Vanilla do. I just I, barely, I just looked at it really quickly and I thought I've got to have all those papers, they're just so gorgeous. Okay so the first one is called Bloom and Grow, so it's a lovely um, stripe which is uh, like um, painty stripes, watercolour stripes and then on the other side or oh, what they do so well and of course it's the flowers that I always go for um, but it's got this sort of grey tone to it which is quite nice I've got a I've got a project in mind that I want to make for my eldest daughter for, for Christmas and it's going to involve blues and greys and lots of florals um, so I suspect this collection might feature in that and uh, that's really beautiful so that's um, Bloom and Grow is that one's called there's another blue, it's like a quite a grey blue with lots of uh, diamondy shapes on it called Inspired. <coughs> Excuse me. And on the other side, well this is beautiful, it's just a, a lovely background um, with, with just a little bit of hints of colour around the edge. So it's almost like you've had your bit of watercolour done for you around the edge and there's a nice space in the middle just to, this would be a lovely background to use. So that's beautiful. Although I ordered these, I didn't look at them really, really closely because I knew I was going to like them, so I just I just grabbed the lot. <laughs> this is called Mixed Blessing. This is more uh, peachy toned. It's almost like a, um, it's got sort of a diamondy, but they're almost spiders webby. I don't know if you can see that, that pattern there. So you can see the light shining in from my window, just catching that. Um, but it's star, sort of star shapes, but um, yeah, it's almost like, I don't know, um, snowflakey or whatever but it's, it's a really pretty design and on the other side you've got these uh, potential cut aparts it would be quite nice to cut these up and use them as, as six by fours and um, three by fours so they'd be quite nice I might use some of those I may have even bought more than one of those I'm not sure I know I bought a couple of some of them but I can't remember which ones so this one's got a, a beautiful script on it that make a lovely Background. I have got two of this one. This is called Moonlight. Uh, that's really beautiful. I love these scripty papers. But I think I liked both sides. Here we go. How gorgeous is that for a background? So yeah, I knew I'd like both sides of this. So I got two and I'm really glad I did. That is just beautiful. I'm thinking of course pictures, uh, layouts with my little granddaughter and I think these would, they would, these would go very well. The pictures of her. Um, and this is the next one. This is called All the Things. So it's got a pink background, little sort of um, white painty splodges, I suppose. It looks like water, um, some uh, watered down acrylic paint splodges, and little tiny um, crosses, or you might call kisses. Lots of little kisses all over it. I think that looks like lots of kisses. So that's really pretty on that side. And here's the the full um, cut apart sheet. And I thought I had bought two of one of the cut apart sheets and it was this one so I've got two of these um, because I'm doing a project lifestyle album for Alyssa because I've got so many photographs I couldn't possibly do 12 by 12s of all of them it's just they're just um, just constantly taking pictures and being sent pictures by my daughter so I'm putting together a lovely um, uh, album with with lots of slotting pages and so I need lots of three by four cards um, and these will be beautiful to go in that album. Um, so it says, every moment matters, so lovely, shine bright, let joy be your compass. I mean, all of these things. Even that um, is such a lovely little, little cut apart to put in one of the pages. Um, it says, if I can read it, because it just read, it goes round the picture. Um, Believe in the power of their dreams. The future belongs to those who believe that's what that says and that's really pretty I like that I'm definitely going to be using that one um, and live the life you love so yeah these are really nice so I thought this would be 
definitely having two of these is going to be no problem to use at all. Okay, so that's that one. This one has got a really dark, dark blue ombre, quite just starting quite dark and then getting really, really dark. And if you look quite closely, I don't know if you can see, it's almost like a cloudy sky. You can almost see a few cloudy shapes in there. So it's not completely plain. Um, it's called Inky Depths, which, which is fairly appropriate. And there's lots of just little patches here and there that looks like you're looking up into a night sky. And then on the other side, oh, gorgeous floral. I love that. I think both of them would be both bits would be useful. This would be quite good as a um, to use as a as a mat. So I may well use bits of both. Often when I like a a paper when I like both sides, I'll just cut it up and use a bit of both both sides. So that's beautiful. And this is a, another lovely neutral. It's actually slightly goldy colours, like a gold marble, very dainty, um, and make a nice background called Sunset Strip. And on the other side. Gorgeous ombre. Looks like a looks like a sunset actually. So maybe a sunset strip is is may, may referring to this side rather than to anything else. So that's really lovely. Right, and then we have a pink stripe, or it's like a peachy pink. And again, it's slightly ombre. The pink, the stripe is paler at the top than at the bottom, so a slightly ombre effect. This is called sophisticated. And on the other side is the. Uh, it's like a sketch of the floral uh, paper that I had earlier, which is not, is it that one? No, I'll fish it out if I can find it. Oops. It's the sketchy version without the colour of this one. So it's like this one, um, this, one's, this one's been coloured in. Um, I think it's the same, it, well, it's very similar anyway, it's not identical but it's the same idea. So you could colour it in, um, use some watercolours or just have it as it is. Who knows? But it's really, really nice. So beautiful papers, as always with Cocoa Vanilla. They're, and they're very, they're quite thick. The cardstock is really good quality. So you can almost, um, if you wanted to do any mixed media, you may not even need to do an awful lot of um, preparation because the papers can take it. They're so thick. So that's lovely. They're beautiful. Love those. Then I've got the, um, this is the pack of 25, I think they're die, die cut titles. So I thought that would be useful. Um, so it's um, our all shine memories, lots of lots of joining words, a couple of these, bright, you and me, love, things, happy, family, beautiful, family moments. You can, you can create titles with all these words, it's really good. And I think that's in a really dark navy blue so that'll be really useful and this is the ephemera pack I believe die cut ephemera looks like it's falling apart a little bit I think one of the ephemera actually escaped I'm not quite sure where this has come from I found this in the box this is like a little uh, chipboard heart so I'm not quite sure where that's come from it's probably fallen off something so these are the um, this is the ephemera pack and I can see there's lots of florals in there there's the picture I'm not going to get them all out right now, but there's and there's that that pretty girl on our tag that was on the one of the papers. Loads of florals. This is going to be beautiful to use. Then we've got the clear stickers. Hello, gorgeous. I mean, that's a title in itself. I think I may have already used that title, but I might, <laughs> I might use it again. Um, and there's some sticker um, timey words sticker phrases I think you are the bee's knees beautiful lovely sweetest don't change so that's gorgeous sweet more florals that's really nice oh there's more on the other side bloom and grow beautiful memories so yeah that is really lovely um and what's this one this is the oh this must be where the where the chipboard hearts come out of this is chipboard pieces so there's some chip water, there's a little banner there, happy beautiful moments, some more florals. So there's quite a bit of pink, but I think the, the, there's sort of touches of grey and dark blue, which just kind of give it that slightly different look. And I think this, this little chipboard heart must have fallen out of here. I'll put that in later. Okay, so that's I think that's all I've got of the cocoa vanilla. 
collection. But of course, while I was looking, I thought I'd um, buy a few bits so that I wouldn't <laughs> take it over the over the boundary of, of not needing to pay postage. So I did a few more things to my to my basket. This is Mamby Chips, um, and it's all about little girls. So no prizes for guessing what layouts this is going to go on. So our little our little miss is six months old tomorrow which is hard but hard to believe so these are some quite nice little pieces there's a little girl so you're kind of moving on a bit from, from I've got a lot of baby stuff a lot of it says welcome and all about, all about new baby and she's no longer a new baby she's turning into a little girl so I thought these would be quite nice to use on on the various projects that I'm doing with her so that's that I also bought this Vicky Booten Iridescent Glaze. I thought that would be quite nice. It's got a, a lovely shine to it. I don't know if I can get this out. Hold on one moment. I'll open. Right, it took a, it was a bit of a um, tricky to get this foil cover off. I had to use my knife. But if you can see, it's got this, it's like a, a creamy um, paste which has got a beautiful iridescent glaze to it or shine to it um, and I just thought I've been really wanting to get something that's that's got that shine that you can use through a, a stencil um, and that will just catch the light I just thought that would be lovely to use so I'll be looking forward to trying that out so that's that's a Vicky, Vicky Booten iridescent glaze Ooh, put the top on so you can see that one and then the last few little the little bits that I bought, because I always seem to be buying pens. And so I've got myself a couple of journeying pens. These are just rollable pens in with black ink. And I, I, I've already had a couple that I use a lot. Um, and I thought they would be handy to have. And then I bought a couple of little bits for my daughter and her boyfriend because they're going on there. They're going travelling for a few months in the middle of November. And they're going to keep a journal. Uh, while they travel and, and write about their travels and things so I bought them a couple of little pens as well and this really cute washi tape to stick things like tickets and um, that kind of stuff any kind of things they want to stick into the journal look it's got little boots on it little converse boots and I thought oh that'll be perfect for them because they both wear those sort of things they'll be taking walking boots with them when they go and they'll be doing a lot of walking so I thought this washi tape was dead cute and would just be right for them so I've got that for them and that's it that was my haul so yeah very pleased with all this stuff it's going to take me a while to work my way through it I've still got quite a lot of um, previous cocoa vanilla collections because well trouble is with some of these beautiful things it's, <laughs> it's you don't want to use it I know it's ridiculous but we're all the same um, but I will try and be I will be using some of this before very long so thank you for joining me and uh, Join me again soon. There'll be there'll be another um, video soon.